that right there. This is an Ohio long beard, baby. Sheesh. Big old boy, too. Big old boy. Andy comes with a fresh set. A big old set. They don't get better than that. They do not get better than that. That's awesome. Just absolutely amazing. But uh, every bird's fun to hunt. I don't care if it's a Jake. I don't care if it's a bearded hen. If you're out here and you get to enjoy nature like this, and get that full aspect of turkey hunting, like this hunt right here, there's nothing more that you could want. The only other thing I could ask for is maybe a buddy sitting here next to me, but, or my old man. Other than that, nah. You can't be a morning like this. I don't care who you are. Guys, it is, uh, what is the day today? May 9th. It's about noon here. Um, hunted a little bit in Ohio this morning, but my buddy Scotty shot a bird today and tie a nest up in his cabin in PA, and, uh, he said, yo, man, if you're off work, drive up here. It's only a two-hour drive. Get up here and let's try to get on some birds in the next couple days. He's staying until Wednesday or Thursday. He hasn't decided yet, but either way, if he's staying until Thursday, I am. So that gives me three days to hunt. And uh, it's completely out of the blue. Didn't plan it or nothing. Um, just called me today and said, hey, I got a bird down. Heard more this morning. Let's get on him. And I was like, amen, brother. So I loaded up the truck. And I am heading whatever direction it is east yep heading east don't stop going going sir yeah so i should be there in about two hours roughly around one o'clock i'll be there probably get some pictures of him with his bird that's his first pa bird he's on a roll this year man it just shows when you put your mind to something what can happen and you, you set a goal in your head and, and Anything's possible. It's crazy. It's crazy. But so y'all stay tuned. I'll try to keep you guys posted and along with the trip as much as possible. Have a good. Good morning guys. So it is May 10th here in PA. Um, it's the second week of their season and it's my first morning out. Uh, me and Scotty seen two birds cross into a block a block of public. I'm right on the edge of private and public actually but they're roosting on public and we seen a mark in there last night. Where they're actually roosting we really don't know too much. Um, but we know the general area where they went into. So they could be a half mile off the field edge and they could be 20 yards. So that's something we're gonna have to figure out as the morning goes on, but <laughs> I think it'll be a good hunt. We're going into an area, hasn't been pressured too hard, which is good. Um, birds haven't been messed with too much in the last week. It's been kind of crappy weather. And then with it being the second week, people are at work throughout the weekdays and whatnot. So. It'll help us out, but I think it's gonna be a good hunt. I think it's gonna be a fun hunt. I think we're gonna get on birds. Scott's been up here for a while, so he's been a scout, and he's been a scout dog for the last week. So it makes it pretty easy to just come up here and fill a tag, but yeah, y'all stay tuned, and the next time I see you, it'll be in the woods. All right, 
So we are currently at the spot we want to listen to. Um, we know these birds are in here. And the crows and everything else are up, but these birds aren't gobbling too much. They're being pretty tight-lipped, but it is the second week on public land. And a spot that's pretty easy to access, so these birds have probably been messed with a lot. So I'm going to give her a hoot and see what we come up with. We know they're around here on this knob somewhere. We're gonna sneak up a little bit and uh, get set up on these birds and just kind of hope they start gobbling here in the next five, 10 minutes. So stay tuned. Dad. <laughs> Did you happen to get that? Yeah. Holy crap, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, I told you I heard drumming. You kept saying it all right morning, here. dude, for the last 10 minutes. Right at the end of the at the end of this log. For the last 10 minutes, bro, you've been talking about drumming. And I didn't. I honestly didn't believe you. <laughs> In the slightest bit, cause I, I'm so congested right now, dude. I could barely even hear him gobble. 150 yards from us. That bird didn't gobble too much, though. Mm mm. And if you weren't there, I wanted a shot, cause I would have thought that was too far. <laughs> yeah, that's probably 30 yards. Wow. Uh, well, keep it rolling, and let's go look at him. <clears throat> Believe that. What a beautiful morning, too. My shell got jammed in there. Wow, that is amazing. My first morning, my first <laughs> half hour in PA, dude. That's what you get when Scott's out here scouting every day. It's uh 6:15 in the morning. 6:15 in the morning. Gobble. The one that was the ones that were gobbling were in the back. I don't really feel like it's real. <laughs> Did this just happen? <laughs> what? Dude, he's got a paintbrush. <laughs> A big old silent tom came running in. A lot of credit goes to Scott on this one. This old boy's been up here, I swear, for a month straight. He turned into a turkey. He got himself one yesterday morning. And uh, he called me up and said, yo, you need to get up here, the birds are hot. And this is legit my first. I got in here yesterday at like one into camp and this is my first morning and we already got a bird on the ground i only had one tag so now we got to fill scotty's tag what that's a good old bird that's a good old bird right there i'm pumped i was not expecting that at all in the slightest bit all right so we're after the fact now <clears throat> Bird's dead, but I want to kind of run this scenario through how this morning went. Okay, so last night we seen two birds come in here at night and uh, knew they were going to roost somewhere on this knob. So we got in here a little late, but not too bad. They were gobbling when we got in here. 
But uh, Scotty's out here now, um, kind of showing the backdrop of what we had, how we were hidden in here. And that bird that I ended up shooting, he didn't gobble but maybe two or three times this morning, and he was farther off. And when he landed, he landed next to us on this, where this bench drops over. And I couldn't hear him spit drumming, but Scott could. And like I couldn't really wrap my head around the fact that he was right there and I couldn't see him. And uh, so in the video, you'll see when he pops out, it was quick. I was like, Scott, are you on him? And then I shot. And it was probably the farthest shot I've ever taken. It was every bit of 55, 60 yards. And, but it was crazy because he came out in front of a hen and got on this hall road. And I had about a three foot section to shoot him at. And he came out of that thick stuff pretty quick and full strut. You guys will see that. But, um, that was wild. That was wild. So he came, he was over here drumming, spit drumming. And right behind Scott, right over here is where I ended up shooting him at. But this was our setup tucked up kind of under this log. And uh, it worked perfect. There wasn't a bird going to see us. But as you can see, this stuff right here is pretty thick. And he was right over that bench. Right there and worked his way up. Died right there. So it actually worked pretty good. So we're going to get back to camp. Get some B-roll. Get some breakfast. And try to fill Scott's second tag. So y'all stay tuned.